recently i was on a trip so whenever i go uh, outside uh, i'm going with my card obviously and i carry at least six to seven smartphones and when i'm working in home and office somebody any of my friends relative colleagues came they just ask you know you're carrying so much devices with different price range so suggest me good device which should work uh, you know flawlessly should not tag i don't bother about the speed i don't need crazy high end processor because they change each year maybe sometimes in six months i just want a budget android device which should work flawlessly so uh, there comes the question you know i'm carrying xiaomi mi a1 and i'm carrying this galaxy s8 very costly device and again i recently just got the nokia 8 and the pixel so these are uh, the closest stock android phones this is a uh, very highly complicated touch with so i see uh, speed is definitely is there on the flagship phones like the galaxies and the pixel but you know on the real life things are completely different if i have launched any application yesterday and if a morning if i just going to resume it i see on um, many of the devices they won't reload and sometimes i found that on the me even all of my apps and games had their memory so this is where guys memory management comes in the picture this is where speed is not important this is where performance is important that is why this is again a new real life speed test between the some of the devices with the 4 gigabytes of ram so this test is basically uh, on the two condition device having 4 gigabytes of ram and device which are completely stock or near about the stock and right that's why i skipped the galaxy this time maybe in the next text i will do that so uh zombie me even is the android one device completely stock and right phone 4 gigabytes of ram snapdragon 625 uh, this is google pixel uh, 821 processor, 4 GB of RAM, original stock Android, and this is Nokia 8 again, Snapdragon 835, 4 GB of RAM, but this is again near 99.9% .9 closed stock Android. Just the camera UI is different, otherwise everything is exactly pixel experience. So that's why I have just taken three stock Android phones, and let's do a performance test. See which phone keeps more amounts of application games in the memory. So guys, let's start our test. So these are the three devices. Very right side, I have the Nokia 8 Center, I have the Google Pixel XL 2016. And the left side we have the Xiaomi Mi M. So all devices are updated to their latest software, the latest security patch. And I have just done a reboot to all the three devices before starting this. Just make sure you know everything is cleared out, cache is cleared, all the stuff. So uh, here we go. So uh, this is not a speed test. So do not uh, try to you know just see and try to comment be like this is not a proper genuine speed test. I know this is not a speed test, but I just want to show you you know not uh, just not just a processor which is important. If you really want to have a great uh, speed, then look for high-end processor. If you just want a uh, best performance, that's what we are going to find out. So uh, we are going to see main things after when we launched all the applications. Then at the time we're resuming, we are going to see which phone is keeping how much number of apps and games in memory. So I have done this thing, these kinds of tests so many times. So whatever best I found, I just showed you. For example, the Google Pixel is always taking more than four minutes. So on an average, I've just taken the best one that I have got. I mean, the least test that I have found out. So. As you can see here, uh, we are on the uh, on the Nokia 8. It's the fastest being on the Snapdragon 35. It is going to launch the X Fold 8. It has already launched all the application games. So obviously, with the latest processor, you're going to get the best speed. But you know, I uh, just take example of Galaxy S8. Even with the fastest speed, it lags a lot. So uh, every test going. But notice here between the Pixel and the Xiaomi Mi 1, these two devices are near about working close. As you can see, as of now. The Google Pixel is still faster because you know it has uh, last generation processor. Definitely should be faster. So Nokia 8 is on the last application, the setting. Now I'm just going to resume all the application with the Facebook. Now you should notice here which application is being reloaded, which is in the memory. So as you can see, most of the apps and games are in the memory as intact. So the first game is in the memory. The second game is in the uh, it is loading. The results varies time to time. I have seen this thing. Let's talk about the Pokemon Go this is the game that reloads most of the times i don't know in all the games and in between the pixel and this uh, xiaomi mi one they are still very close you can see uh, they're just taking the camera then we have a setting application now i'm just going to resume games on the both phones to application and game so we can see xiaomi mi one keeps all the apps in the memory and compared to the pixel and you can see on the nokia 8 we have the dedicated in the memory x fold 8 should be in the memory also yeah it is in the memory so take a look at the mi even it just have all the games in the memory i guess not all except the pokemon go which indeed i don't know why it just restarts and all each time and take a look on the pixel even uh, I, I i think i have done this three or four times so only one or two times i have seen x fold 8 is in the memory sometimes that trigger too but uh, most of the games are just being reloaded this is latest updated to the android 8.0 i don't know why it is happening so the Nokia 8 uh, took the least 2 minutes 45 seconds time which is very incredible comparing the stock unit with the high-end processor 
So I'm very curious to compare Nokia 8 with the Google Pixel 2 uh, XL when I will have it because this phone, both phones have the same specs and all the stuff. So as you can see on the Pixel 2, uh, Pixel XL, all the games are reloading while on the Mi even. Uh, after that, this dead trigger to X Fold 8 was in memory. Then we are about to resume camera is also in the memory. Taking a picture, quick snap. Let's see. Camera is a little bit slower, so this is the last application of the Mi even and it took 3 minutes 23, 24 seconds difference. So you can see uh, in about a 45 second difference between the Nokia 8 versus the Mi even and there is a price difference of near about to the 20k, I guess more than 20k, 25k and the pixel while just on the, <laughs> you can see the second, third game, now we are going to resume Dead Trigger 2. So I'm very very disappointed with the pixel. I don't know, I haven't done any reset from last uh, in a year, maybe due to the reason, but you know, with the, after getting the latest fresh Android update, it should be working better. So Xfold again is reloaded. And I told you guys, in some other part, I've found the same time difference, but uh, some games have the memory, but it is going to take a lot of time in my other application game. That's why I just took this thing, uh, I mean, this test perspective scenario, and let's see how much time it is going to take. So you can see in between that, the Volver also gone off. So Pixel XL is kind of crawling to me. It works smooth, but if I launch so many apps and games, it just started crawling on the ground. Otherwise, for few applications, it works very great. So now we are on the last application setting. So it has taken four minutes or 30 seconds. So comparing to Nokia 8, difference is near about to the exactly two minutes, 15 seconds between this Pixel and this Xiaomi. We have difference of a minute. So there it is, guys. This is your quick performance and memory management test. I hope this test will help you in the future in case you're going to buy any device, you know, technology is changing so fast. If you're not a very smartphone free guy, if you're just a casual user, you want a good performance device. So look, these speed tests, real life tests are more important. What is your need? Uh, then try to decide which phone to buy. So there it is guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is Saurabh. I'll talk to you very soon. Have a great day.